All right, well, I made it to my next spot. We are at, this is called Saks Covered Bridge. Is this supposed to be like the haunted place here in Gettysburg? Let's look at company over here. Tree trimming truck. Oh well. We're gonna go ahead and check this place out. I'll tell you a little bit about it when we get up there. Of course, this place does get a lot of vandalism, I think. They have a sign here warning you about it. Just because it is one of the, you know, premier haunted places here in Pennsylvania, it gets a lot of attention. You know, people try to come out here at night and do stupid stuff. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, you can see people, a lot of people write their names on here. That's what they're trying to get people to not do. Yeah, it's full of it everywhere. All right, but this bridge, this bridge was built in 1854, and it was used by both Union and Confederate troops to cross this creek here. Um, but like, this was one of the main lines of General Lee's retreat from Gettysburg using this bridge. And the story goes that there were three Confederate soldiers. They were either described as deserters or that they were spies for the Union Army, but they were caught. <clears throat> and legend says that they were then hung on this bridge as punishment, hung like right away. And that later on, Union soldiers found them hanging here and that their ghosts supposedly still haunt this place. full of people writing their names and stuff. Well, that's a pretty cool shot there. But yeah, some people also report smelling pipe smoke when on this bridge. Not cigarette smoke, they have cigarettes back in the Civil War, but pipe smoke. It's supposedly it's supposed to be General Lee's pipe smoke, but I doubt that. But yeah, so it's supposed to be one of the biggest haunted places. So you, of course, you're supposed to come at night for that, but you're, it's, you're not allowed to come here at night. I know there's videos on YouTube of people sitting here on the bridge at night with like a little candle and trying to contact the spirits of the dead soldiers that died here and stuff like that. It's not really my thing. But it's a cool historic bridge. They, they did a lot of repairs to this bridge. I think at one time it came off its abutments here during a flood, so they spent a lot of money to fix it up. Which is, you know, it's, it's neat that they did. It's a Saks Covered Bridge. It's all like on the west side of Gettysburg. I didn't hear any ghosts or smell any pipe smoke here today, so... That's okay, it's still a cool place. You know, if you do come here, you don't, you know, it's not necessary to carve your name on the bridge or do anything like that. It just, it does kind of take away from the, I don't know. It's not necessary. Just come out here, enjoy it, leave it as it is. All right, I'm going to start heading on home. It's getting cold out here. It's still Christmas vacation for me, but it got real cold all of a sudden. But I have quite a few other places I'm planning on going, so... Just thought I'd take a drive out to Gettysburg today. Alright, I'll see you around.